Hi everyone, welcome back to Jason Infinite Magic. We are doing another energy healing demo today. I've got the Haley on the table. She's doing a bit rough at the moment, so we're gonna do a awesome clearing on her. So just rest, sit down somewhere, have a lay down on the couch and just enjoy the healing and the healing energy. And let's get stuck into it. Energetic candles, please, clearing candles. One, two, three, four, five. Golden rings protection around the room. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, what's going on? Okay, got a lot going on. Yeah, so you're doing a lot of battling behind the scenes of all these people. A party is in limbo with it. Okay. So what I'm doing everyone is just doing a tuning. Um, Haley is letting go of a lot of things at the moment so she can leap forward into her own independent business. So with businesses, sometimes when you've got partnerships with people, it can be very messy and, and it can sometimes hurt because there's a lot of things that need to be, I guess you could say, let go of. So this is what Haley is doing at the moment. Letting go of the old and to be able to step into the new. And a lot of you might resonate with this. It can also be relationships again partnerships, marriages, anything to do with letting go of people, letting go of the old and the stepping into more of your true self. <sighs> and as I'm speaking these words, there'll be clearings happening within Haley. Good start. So I'm just start as with the diamond as I always do, just with the base structure of the pattern. I need my ancient silver bin with my violet flame to transmute all the energy that needs to be transmuted. One there, and I might do one over here. I'm just going to do a sweep. And if anybody wants a session with me as well, you can contact me through my email, my website, and you can also, um, we can organise a a Zoom session, if anybody's interested. The healings are very helpful. It can shift a lot of things. I'm just gonna do bottom diamond here. Just clear that. Put that back. Um, I'm going to do violet wash. So I just have the intention of the colour violet, the right colour violet. And its intention is for to wash the pattern. With the violet energy. So she needs a lot of cleansing. One more. So I'm now getting shown head, um, 
heart strings, the cords connect to the heart, needs to be cut off, connected to certain energies, people. A lot of head stuff going on with her. Just sharing energy, light into her heart. Because I'm feeling that a lot bit of heartache with that. And on levels, Hayley feels like she's being betrayed a little bit. Again, everyone, remember, this is all personal learning for us all. We all have things that we need to work through, let go of, and embrace within ourselves. That's better. So her energy's down because of a lot of... Uh, drama being playing out at the moment we were on the phone the other night and I was telling her that she's working with the phoenix energy so that's all about rebirthing letting go of the old rebirthing to the new and also that's connected to rebirthing self as well so she is working on big energy at the moment So getting with Haley, she's burning the candle at both ends. I know that feeling. Can you put your hands on your lungs for me? I'm going to put my hands on yours. So I'm just going to channel because her lungs aren't good at the moment. I'm just going to channel light. Sometimes it's good to actually do a physical contact. So I'm just going to show you, yeah. wash on that as well. Okay, cool. You can relax now. Okay, I'm just gonna ask for the lungs for the moment. Can I have the lungs back with the lungs and we'll do energetic clearing on this as well, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yep. Gonna do a clearing on the lungs. Lungs also represent breathing in life and breathing out life. So if things are really tough, sometimes it's hard to breathe in because it's so challenging. So what I'm trying to do is get Haley to have a easier, easier breath, easier, easier breathing, so she can really embrace the positive beneficial energies let go of the old because the stuff in the lungs is also connected to the old <sighs> so my intention is just to do a clearing on the back and front of the, the lungs energetically don't think I've done this work before on previous videos so that's a new one 
then as I'm doing, I'm seeing cords be cut over there as well. So I'll do that in a minute. So I'll send the lungs back in right location, position, healing level, frequency and sound, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And now her energetic self and her pattern and her physicality has just mellowed a lot. It's just relaxing more and more and more. And this is where more of the healing energy can, can work through her. I can have that cord here, get rid of that. I've got a bit of orange coming through, so that's all about creativity. Connect to the sacral as well. Just going to do some work on clearing the mind. Getting I need to do, bring her master back diamond to the front. I need to do some work on that. I perceive that to be the past stuff as well. So we'll bring that around. And how are you all doing at the moment? Hopefully if you're doing it tough too, maybe really my intention goes out to the healing energy to go out to everyone to help you guys on a level as well. That's why I do these send out healing energy to everyone that needs it we all need healing or support okay i'm just gonna do some energy through her feet because she needs the because there's been a lot of energy that's stagnated so I want to get her energy flowing through her like a river and that's when we could also step forward a lot more easily I'm getting she's not in her body much at the moment so because usually when we step out of body it's just too hard so we step out of our bodies a little bit I want to bring her back in her body. <sighs> okay. That's better. And I'm just going to go around and there's cords there. Cords. There, yeah, so I've got a shackle and chain energetically attached to her left foot, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Who's that? Oh, that'd be the person we are talking about before. Yeah. And that's on the emotional side. Yeah. So wanting to step forward emotionally, because we have emotional ties to people, or we feel like we need to hang around. Do you know what I mean? So it's just letting go of that so you can step forward emotionally because physically you're ready to step forward, leap forward, but it's the emotional feeling part of ourselves that don't want to let It's hard. Do you know what I mean? Because that part of you just is ready just to jump off and fly, but you've got the, you know, it's your friendships and stuff like that that you need to let go of, which, which is what you're doing. Yeah, so you can move forward. Yeah. It's like I'm getting in my head one of your wings have been cut off. So with only one wing, you can you just doing this, chasing your tail. So you need to reclaim back both your wings so you can fly in any direction, not just 
this. <laughs> and that means trying to, not even the word try, um, creating what you want to create with your business and having things flow for you, not always a drama, yeah? Because you know what you're doing. And I'm getting saboteur energy as well, so a little bit of saboteur energy there, so letting go of that from the people around you. They're trying to sabotage me? Well, they do it in a way that they don't even know they might be doing it. So, because when they sabotage, say you're being sabotaged by them, they're actually sabotaging themselves as well. And most people are not conscious. Everybody does it on an unconscious, subconscious level, all this stuff that plays out. They work from wounds, inner child wounding, trauma, yeah. So it's getting past that and attracting the right people that can be in the same frequency as you so you can again move forward. Does that make sense? Because we do, we, we sometimes saboteur ourselves as well, we're even knowing it. Even though we want to reach the higher levels, but there's a part of it that still needs healing. It's still a wounded part of ourselves or a trauma part of ourselves that need to be looked at. We talked about shadow work before, because it can go right, right back from when we were kids. Okay. So. Yeah, so you're very strong and having a direction, knowing where you want to go, it's fixing and healing the feeling, emotional self. And you do have support with your business of people, to attracting the right people to support you, that you've both got tools, or many of you have the same or similar tools that can support and help each other. Not just one-sided. And being honest of what you can and can't do it's like I can't edit, but I can do this instead. I'm really good at this. This is my toolbox. And you go, this is my toolbox. And you can come together with that. Or you can be a one man show or a one woman show. <laughs> yeah. And employ people to help you. That's another way as well. And you can do it. It's better. Wonky. <sighs> Pin that back, pin that back. Not better. I'm gonna do a transfusion of energy into you. So, so I'm just gonna do a transfusion of um, energy into Haley because she's energetically a bit done. So I'm just gonna make a tube, put it into her pattern. Many of you will be going, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on here? It's all intentioned. Make a... It's like a drip, energetic drip. You know, when you go to the hospital and they put a drip into you. So I've, I'm creating my own energetic drip, which I'm going to put in infinite true source energy into it. And I'm going to drip the energy into her pattern, into her energies, into her being to help um, replenish her energy. Okay, enough, and I'm just gonna drip it in just a little bit at a time while I keep on working, then I'll pull it out later. And that will help recharge. Okay, let's do the feeling center. Everybody's seen me do this many, many times. stuff that we're carrying. I call this the level three is the basement.
Yeah, I feel that if you can get to this course that you're going to be teaching, I feel that would be really positive for you if you can manage it, because it will help with your creativity, your energy, because your, you really love it. It will help recharge you and take you out of the, the, the head drama stress. And self-empowerment as well. Let's see how you feel after this. It's like when you come home from work all day and you're exhausted, but you do something that you love. It's like, oh, I can keep going. Okay, that's better. It's ready. Just gonna wave that because it's a little bit damaged. So that's out of whack. Let's wave that. So I'm just waving a silver essence. I work a lot with silver and gold. That's better. Okay, so it's, it's not got energy moving across the pattern. And that's still dripping. Mm. So there's a lot of cords on the feeling center. Get rid of those. I think that I did a video on cutting cords, didn't I, Alison? Mm. Mm. So you can check out that video of cutting, how to cut your cords on your feeling centre. So you're not open, that's not good. Three, two, one. A bit open, I can't a bit too. That's better. That's better. How are you feeling? Um, I'm yeah. relaxed. Yeah, good. <laughs> Probably haven't been this relaxed for a while. Yeah. Do some triangle work. One's a bit blocked here. Let's clean that out. Reinforce that. That's better. So I'm just doing this with my hands, I'm not doing Tai Chi, and no, I'm not making pizza either. 
but it is handy to, to do that. Just going over the all right feel just to see if I can feel. I can't see in great detail my hands pick it up. My hands are automatic. They just pick up stuff automatically. They've got a mind of their own because I've done this for so long. It's pretty good so far. It's good. A lot better. Okay, let's do a little tune in. Okay. My turn. I'm transmitting all your energy. Are you making me want to cough? No, um, making tummy noises. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> So I'm going to put you into a violet flame. So the violet flame is the flame of transmutation, transformation, turning the lead base frequencies, the heavy densities frequencies and transmuting them into a higher frequency from, I guess you could say, from lead to gold. which is a high level of consciousness and being. <sighs> that's what I've been work working with for a very long time and that's what I call working on the mastership pathway, mastering self, as much as we can. So just visualize, I'm just gonna visualize Haley in this pilot the right violet ray color. Put her in there. And I'm just getting this particular flame is aligned to the germain energy. If those of you who know of the Master, Senate Master Saint Germain. He uses the, the violet fire, the purple fire, the transmutation, transformation, personal alchemy. <sighs> so you can just visualize yourselves in this purple fire, this magenta fire. It's been known to also help if you believe in karma, to help transmute and clear karma on levels. That's why it's important to choose carefully your choices because it mightn't bite you in the, in the butt now, but it might do it in the future. So be more conscious of your actions and your dealings with people. Unless of course it's your learning to do so. To have that learning come up for you to work through. Because that could be a reflection of that particular person that you're working, having a hard time with can be a reflection, perhaps not in this current lifetime, but in another lifetime or lifetimes past come up for you to relearn or relook at so you can move through it. That also can play out that way too. Not everything's black and white people. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna leave you in that. I'm gonna work on your back diamond. Master back diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I said before the back diamond, I got the master back diamond. This I see this as our past, so I'm just clearing out the past as well. 
cords or anything that doesn't need to be be there. So I'm getting, I need to do a, another sweep, clearing. Need to spray you again. I also want some too. <laughs> Big thank you to Alison, my camera girl, for filming again for us. That's right, because I used it for a smudge. We had to smudge the house. Energy was crap, so I did a massive smudge. The house. Are... Okay, that's what we got here. Let's do Are you sleeping much, Hayley? I kept waking her up. Mm. You having strange dreams? Yeah. 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 Oh, because I've just got it coming up in my mind as I'm doing this part of your pattern. Now I've got Haley's back pattern around, which is here, our back. There's a fear compartment, which is on the back. We call it the fear compartment. So it's another diamond, but it's at the back, and that's where we store a lot of our fear as well. I'm just working on your fear compartment, Haley. Okay. Move back on. 
Let's have a look at her spine. Just want to go through. So her spine. Getting shown her hips on a little bit out too, so I might do that as well. So her spine and hips please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Undo the hips. Realign the hip area. Pin the back. Which is also connected to the conquential line, we'll call it the conquential line. And neck. <sighs> and let's just channel some light through the spine. So what I'm doing is just channeling some light from both my hands doing this effect. So like going up and like going down at the same time, doing any clearing in the energetic fluid of the spine. <sighs> That's better. So I put the hips and the spine back. So, both of those back and right location, precision, healing level, frequency, sound, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, <sighs> 0. Okay, it's better. So, I'm going to send the, the master back pattern back. Location, precision, healing level, frequency, and sound. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Okay, that's better. So now I can start to see energy moving through her, her body, and it's a lot more vibrant. Where before it was quite, um, I'll just use my terms for me, just dark and dull. So now it's come up to a higher level. So it's a lot more vibrant, you could say, a lot more flowing and moving. Trauma, drama, stress, all that stuff can really dull us. So if you can find ways to step out of that and bring yourself back into a bit of a joy or something like that. Excuse the noise in the background, I've now got somebody drilling or something outside. So yeah, if you can bring yourself back to a higher place of feeling better. Okay, I'm going to do a Taurus field. So the Taurus field is half halfway down, it's not around the whole body. You can check out the Taurus field, just Google Taurus field. You can understand what I'm talking about, if you don't already know. So I'm just bringing energy from our feet up and around. And moving it down back to her feet so she's more expansive that's where it should be not halfway down on her body so I'm pushing that okay. keep doing that So for the right speed and for Haley. So I'm just now going to do sound lines. That's guy line in the centre. 
and the sound line, because we all have a sound frequency, and they can break as well. If you fall over, or trauma, stuff like that can break the sound lines, so Haley's sound lines are intact. It's like fine tuning a musical instrument. When you add a key, things, things don't flow. And I tune them with my wrists, believe it or not. So I just activate them. And I just do the intention of tuning them. I can bring them up or down or rebalance them with my hands, my wrists. Sometimes I can hear or see the musical instrument got today. I'm getting a bit of an orchestra with Haley and the orchestra or the band is not cooperating. <laughs> so I'm getting oh, I'm just being shown playing the bass guitar. So I'm gonna see that as like an archetype and for me the base is the base chakra and also grounding so she needs to be a little more grounded within herself with her life drum getting drums drummings would drumming would be good for you Haley. Mm -hmm. mm, you got drums at home yeah yeah do some drumming okay Need drumming at the moment. It doesn't have to be mad drumming, just now I've got your drum in my head, Alison. I've got my drum yeah. in my head. <laughs> yeah, I might can I use can I borrow your drums? I might do a little drumming. Yeah. Mm, we'll see. I'll sh we'll show you Alison's drum, it's really cool. So we'll do a bit of drumming for you today and Hayley needs a bit of drumming. Alison's all excited. <sighs> okay. Go get the drum. Yeah. So that's Alison's drum, isn't it beautiful? So we've got the the owl, the horse, the dolphins, the hummingbird and the turtle in the centre. Okay, so this is good over the auric field. Hmm. So what I'm tapping into is the nervous system. So it's overworked at the moment and you can hear the drumming, it will start to go a bit strange as I work through the pattern. See how that shifted, so I'm just letting my hand Sound. 
see you there. So we'll live the shot. mother's womb again just nurturing safety feeling safe That's a bit better. One more time over. Thank you, Alison, for letting us use your drum today. I love playing the drum. I'm not very good at it. I'm getting better. How was that, Hayley? That was nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? The drum's good. I kept on getting um, Native American Indians around a fire, doing the drums, some sort of healing ceremony. So I was getting a lot of tingling. 
Ah, good. Okay, I've done sound lines, done that, done that. I don't think I've done a drum in a healing before. First time. Kept on getting singing bowl today. Might do that for another one. But for Haley, it's like I need need the drums. Okay. Anything else I need to be done today? Okay. Everything back in the right location, position, healing, level, frequency, and sound, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So I'll just readjust. Okay, open up your eyes. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Pull that out. Okay. Oh, that's the um, the energy ball that I was transfusing transfusing into you. Close myself down. Okay. So when you're ready, I'll get you to roll on your side towards me. If you can. <laughs> yep. So I'm just putting light through this area in back into Gaia to help her ground through the hip area. So just adjusting her top diamond. Just readjusting it. You don't want it falling down, you want it to be here. Let's really pin it. I'm just gonna bring your aura in. You don't want your aura to be out like that. It's not good into life. You start attracting all sorts of crap. So I just want to bring it in. Just redo that. And I'm gonna do these are just pins of peace and grounding. Which I just helps her ground. <sighs> just shoot light back into through her feet and into the ground again. Okay, um, MPs, almost there, that's better. Okay, your eyes look better. Oh, have a seat. So you feel a bit better? Yeah, better. yeah, you look a lot better. She came in looking like death. <laughs> I did. I felt like <laughs> Well, thank you again for being on the table and showing your energy with everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And just a quick ad, if you want to check out Phoenix Awaken podcast, we're talking about all this spiritual stuff. It's awesome. Go and check it out on YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, everywhere else it's, it's on. Thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you in the next one soon because I've got somebody else coming next month. So there'll be another healing demo coming after this one quite soon. So love and blessings. Love you all. Bye.